Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn destructing assignment operator. So what is destructing assignment operator? We had never heard this operator before. The destructing assignment operator is new in ECMAScript 6. Now we know that destructing assignment operator exists in ECMAScript 6. But now let me tell you what is destructing assignment operator and what it does. Destructing assignment operator allows you to take an array or object and destructure it into an individual variable. So let's take an example of object and understand how destructing assignment operator work. So we will declare a normal object here. So we'll say constant obj is equal to and in the curly braces I will specify some object properties like a colon 1 comma b colon 2 comma c colon 3 and say comma e colon 5 and end the statement with semicolon now we will use the destructing assignment operator here so I will say constant and in the curly braces I will specify some variables so I will say a comma b comma c comma d comma e and use assignment operator and specify object right so now I will just print this variable on the console so I will say console.log and specify variable a so the result would be 1 if you wanted to print the second property value then I will just specify B here then the result would be 2 and if I say C then the result would be 3 what if I just specify D here what is the result the result would be undefined because we did not specify D in the object property So why not we remove one variable from here so I will just remove the B variable now let's see what is the result when you execute this statement you will get an error message B is not defined the error occurred because of we did not specify the variable in the destructing assignment operator right so now the important thing is when you create a destructing assignment operator you need to keep in mind when you destructure an object the variable name must match to the property name in the object when you destructing assignment operator didn't match any property in the object then it will return undefined also we didn't specify b in the declaration so the javascript return error message you can do the declaration like this also so i will just wrap this declaration in the parenthesis but keep in mind when you're doing this type of declaration it must be surrounded by parenthesis otherwise javascript assume left side of statement as a block now let's take one more example of destructing assignment operator with array so we will declare a normal array here like this constant array is equal to in the square bracket I will specify some array element 1 comma 2 comma 3 now we will declare a destructing assignment operator here so I will say let in the square bracket I will say a comma b is equal to array keep in mind when we declaring an object we use curly braces in the declaration and when we declare array we used square bracket in the declaration now we will just print this variable on the console so when we print a the result would be 1 when we print b the result would be 2 and if i print c 
What is the result? You will get an error message because C is not defined. You will get the same result as an object. So I will just add some more element 4, 5 and 6. So I will increase the element of the array. Now is it possible to store a remaining array element in the new variable? Yes, it is. Using spread operator like this with the three dots, you can store remaining array element in the new variable. Just like this. Specify three dots with the variable name. So I will just say rest here. So I will just say console.log and print rest variable. Now when you print the rest variable, you will get the remaining element of the array. We will cover the spread operator in the future lectures. But just keep in mind that we use spread operator to print a remaining array element using destructing assignment operator. Right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more deeply. That is all for this lecture. We will see you in the next tutorial.